Hi everybody, it's Grayson at Earlbacher Gear and I got a quick question this week I thought I would address with um, how to make flat panels. So I'm gonna do a quick video and show you how to do it. I'm hoping this is an angle that you guys will be able to see. So I'm cast on with waste yarn, I've got all my needles in. So I happen to have a um, blue hash mark here on the back of my cylinder. I'm just using that as a, a reference point. So what I'm gonna do, and people do this, um, the people that are efficient with this will do this and work with two crescents. I'm not efficient like that, so I just get one. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna pull the needles up as though you were gonna make a partial heel. And I like to flip all the latches down just to make sure. So you don't drop any stitches when you put those needles back in play. And I'm gonna crank around until I hear the last click. I'm gonna hand tension with my hand, just to pull a little bit of tension on that, pick these stitches up, put these needles back in play. And knit back around. And before I get too far, I've got my, my reference was my blue mark. So I'm gonna pull up the needles that are on this side of the blue mark, putting those latches down back again and crank around so you hear the last click. Hand tension, pick the stitches back up, put these guys back in play. And by going back and forth like this, this will give you a flat panel fabric. This can be done with the Speedster, the reduced ratio, or you can also do it with a bumblebee. So I'm gonna pull these needles back up, opening all those latches again. And tension and go around again putting these guys back in play and that's how you make a flat panel so if you guys have any questions or if there's anything else that you want to see from a different angle or whatever just let us know and uh, if you have any questions give us a call here at the shop happy knitting